Just a couple quick disclaimers before we begin. Number one, do not go to war with anyone mentioned in this video. And number two, because the series' purpose is to critique and comment on the artwork presented in it, it falls under fair use. Additionally, I would like to say that there will be a few announcements at the end of this video. Now, on with the show. DeviantArt, one of the world's largest online art galleries holding great masterpieces, but also great eccentricities. Today, we'll take a look at someone from there. On this episode of DeviantArt Critique, we'll be diving into B. Yan. B. Yan is yet another artist that I would consider to be absolutely criminally underrated. Hailing yet again from the land of Japan, despite being on the site for 10 years and making almost 7,000 pieces of art, he only has a fan base of 179 watchers. As you'll see, his art, in my opinion, is way too good to get that unnoticed. The first type of art that you'll probably notice in his gallery are these really nice looking black and white illustrations of various creatures and human bug hybrids that are very bountiful in his gallery. They look quite nice in my opinion, mostly due to the aesthetic he's going for with them. It is very clear that they are meant to look similar to engravings or some illustration that one would find in a book from the 19th century. However, they also stick out from such pictures due to the anime style that Bian has. I also really like the weird stuff he's got going on in these illustrations. It honestly feels like he's illustrating a monster encyclopedia or something with every one he makes. Bian is also really active, by the way. Over the course of me working on this video, he published several things on his gallery. However, there's also a second, less common type of thing that Bian publishes the watercolor stuff. Like his black and white illustrations, the watercolor pictures are also a joy to see. Bian clearly knows what he's doing with them, and it shows. The Ghibli-esqueness of his style also emerges and stands out quite well in these illustrations in my opinion, but I barely know anime at all, so take it as you will. Bian's watercolor pictures are divided into two categories. The simple illustrations with one character in an uncomplicated background, and the ones that either have a more complicated background or are just digital collages. As I've said already, they are a joy to see. I especially like the surreal vibes that some of the collages give out. It has a nice touch to a gallery filled with weird ghosts and monsters, which makes them noticeable while still having a unified aesthetic. There are some mistakes that B.E.N. makes with anatomy from time to time, but overall, he is a really, really underrated artist that I highly recommend you support. Like last episode, my final recommendations are just to keep it up and to acknowledge mistakes and rectify them. It would be a great shame if you suddenly just dropped from the face of the earth for no reason. Well, that does it for today. You can check me out on Twitter.com if you want to, but otherwise, I've been your host, XenonQuark996. But before you leave, I have some quick announcements about my schedule. From now until January 13th, I will be making DeviantArt Critique episodes, as per usual, all the way up until episode 20. However, from January 17th until March 2nd, I'll be taking a break from this series to pursue other ventures. This will be a time of experimentation, and I would like to hear your input during this time. Some suggestions for videos I could do now are also welcome, by the way. I barely have any ideas on what to do myself, to be honest. Other than that, episodes 21 through 29 of DeviantArt Critique will be released from March 6th until April 7th. There will then be a little retrospective on the 11th where I talk about everyone I will have reviewed up until then, followed by some other stuff from the 15th through the 27th. Finally, the very last episode of DeviantArt Critique I have planned will be released on May 1st. I hope that you are prepared.